What's up, everybody, and welcome back to A Beer A Day with TK. It's a warm Sunday afternoon here in Finley, Ohio, but it's the first week of the NFL season for Sunday games, so the Eagles are playing the Falcons, and I figure it's time to get a couple of videos in real quick. Um, before I start, I got some beer mail. Got this cool sticker in the mail from Dave's TV. Um, Dave does beer reviews. He's down in Florida. So if you ever want to check out some, some other stuff out there, go check him out. Also, if you're interested in beer reviews in general, I do have, um, you know, on the homepage for this channel, a list down the bottom of some of the beer reviewers that I follow. So certainly I like to, you know, try my own beers and speak my mind on them, but sometimes I like to see what other people have in their neck of the woods. So there's some folks in the Carolinas and Florida and Iowa. Um, we got some Canadian guys on there, Australians. We got people from all over the place. It's always kind of cool to see, you know, what local beers they have. Um, you know, it's great to see stuff everybody can get, but sometimes it's always, I don't know, for me at least, interesting to see what's going on in, in other parts of the world. So check those out if you want to see some other beer videos. And thanks again, Dave, for sending the sticker. I'm going to put it on the beer fridge once I'm done with the videos. All right, so the beer I have today is called Franz, and this is from Rheingeist Brewing in Cincinnati, Ohio. Um, now, full disclosure, I've had this a couple times and actually quite like the, quite like the offering. Um, this is the 2021 version, so when I went on the untapped, it did have it listed separately. I'm not sure if they changed the recipe up. I think it's kind of the same thing um, every year, but I've never done a review on it, and it is a, generally a pretty good beer, so... Um, you know, it's always good to see what the 2021 version looks like. Now, on the back of this, we have a little bit of a blurb. It says, Franz is our Oktoberfest brow. Not traditional, but uber German. Here's an autumnal brew, a bit of a, a, bit of a dreamer, often hiking in the Alps to return brimming with great ideas. Like those brisk hikes in the steep mountains, this Munich malts will pump you up. Now, when I initially saw the Franz on here, you know, it has the, the Bavarian color pattern. I assumed this was some kind of Franz Ferdinand thing. And then it dawned on me when I read the can, they're going to pump you up. This is paying homage to the great Hans and Franz from Saturday Night Live, which was Kevin Nealon and Dana Carvey. So I don't know. Maybe I like it a little bit better because of that. <laughs> Let's give it a shot. 5.4% ABV. Couldn't find the ABUs listed anywhere. Ratings-wise, does pretty good. 3.73 on untapped. 3.68 on Beer Advocate with an overall rating of 83 or good. Now, like I said, Ryan Geese is a brewery. Ryan Geis, sorry, is a brewery I, I like in general. I think they usually do a pretty good job. Um, sometimes I feel like I overlook them because they're from Cincinnati and I see them everywhere on the shelves. I'm always looking for rarer or more, you know, stuff from breweries that are, are smaller. Um, but they do a good job. So, you know, it's pretty cool to see this one. Color-wise, you know, it's kind of that copper kind of amber thing that you'd expect from an Oktoberfest. The head, that's at least a, a thumb's width. Now, it's kind of odd. This one looks soapy and frothy kind of simultaneously. So you do have the, the small bubbles, the fish eyes, as Don called them. But it also has the big islands, which is a bit odd. So it's a, you know, uh, two different, usually you see one or the other. The soapy ones tend to dissipate quickly or be thin. This looks like it was simultaneously both somehow. Let's give it a sniff. Yep, yep, yep. Tastes good when you ingest it through your nose. Bready, biscuity, malt. Got the kind of caramel thing going on. Caramel, um, malt, bready malt. Smells pretty decent, but it's it's nothing too overpowering. Let's give it a shot. Cheers. I'd say this is medium light bodied. Um, as far as the taste, you do get kind of like a caramel hops thing. Um, caramel hops, caramel malt going on there. You get a little bit of like a, a toasted grain, um, like kind of toasty bread. And then at the end, you get a little bit of, of like a grassy hop finish. The hop finish isn't strong. So the other day I did a, a review on a beer with a, a big, strong hop finish. This isn't like that, but it does have the hops to balance out the sweetness of the caramel. Um, and I, I think they do a pretty good job. Something like this to me is a beer I could drink all day long so if i was at the oktoberfest these would go down pretty easy 5.4 percent um nothing too crazy there but you know it, it's got a decent bit of abv to it has a nice feel to it nice body to it for the most part isn't too heavy or too hoppy that you'd only want one or two um so for me franz 
again, one of the beers I kind of look forward to from them every year would be a big thumbs up. I definitely have another one. Hey, if you like the videos, please give me a thumbs up. Hit that like button. If you want to see more videos like this, please hit subscribe. And as always, you got any comments or questions, jump in down below. Have you had Franz from Rheingeist? Have you had any of their other beers? Which ones do you like? I think I've done two or three on the channel so far, um, and they've all been pretty solid. So let me know what you think of them. Hey, till next time. Cheers. Go Birds.